Hey guys, if you are new here, my name is Candy, and um, on my channel I share a whole lot of different stuff. I share homeschooling, homesteading, gardening, day in the life videos, what's for dinner videos, freezer cooking, grocery hauls, all that jazz. This video I have for you guys here today is a grocery haul for my family. I spent I think $3.87 total. I'm going to show you everything I got. However, we were in the middle of recarpeting my living room when I bought all these groceries. That being said, my kitchen table was pushed into the corner, chairs were stacked on it, my couches, my TV stand, my TV, everything was in my dining room. So it was a mess. And so I used just my stove top to film this grocery haul. I would just unpack a couple bags worth of stuff onto my stove top, film it, and then move on. And then James commandeered my stove top to get some dinner going. And so then I was just doing that on top of my TV stand in the other corner of the dining room. But I got my whole grocery haul filmed. And so I'm going to show you everything we got. And I also, this month I ordered a meat pack. I don't know if you guys have ever ordered a meat pack, um, but our grocery store started offering those. And this month I went ahead and said, okay, we're gonna do that. In this meat pack, it had a whole pork shoulder, a pound of bacon, which they ran out of the one pound, so they gave us a pound and a half, um, eight New York strips, eight pork steaks, 10 pounds of ground beef, two pack fitches of chicken thighs that are seasoned with barbecue seasoning, um, a 10 pound bag of leg quarters. I feel like there's more. Anyways, when I get to it, we'll talk about it. I was just wondering how you feel about meat packs. Do you feel like they're worth it, not worth it? Um, my local store, Anthony's, every week has a different meat pack. Some of them are 89, some are 99, some are more. This one was 119, so this is of the about 385 ish. I spent 119 of it was a meat pack. And when we get to that, I did it separately after the fact because I had bought all my groceries. I ordered the meat pack, I paid for it. And then I came home, filled my grocery haul, and then two days later, my meat pack was ready. And so I picked it back up. So I was able to film that on my kitchen table in my dining room, but the rest, like I said, was filmed on my stovetop because I'm just doing what I could do. So anyways, let's jump into things. Okay guys, so um, they had New York strips for $4.99 a pound, so I grabbed two packages. They were $14.42 for this package of three, and then this other package was $16.57 for three more, and then I also picked up a package of two sirloins for $19.89. I'm going to use those for fajita meat. Okay, now I picked up popsicles for Miss Maddie because she is hooked on popsicles and so four packages of popsicles because she has went from cookies to popsicles and every time she uses the potty she thinks she needs a popsicle. A great big sour cream, three packages of mushrooms, three packages of guacamole, some Snickers, coffee creamer because it sounded good, Merrick's milk that is for my kids that like to drink the Merrick's milk and then also a regular milk and then we got another package of mushrooms that got separated from the first some blueberries oranges tooth bundles of bananas vanilla wafers which i'm going to make a banana pudding so i have some vanilla puddings right here for that two packages of fajita seasoning which is not all of it three whipped creams minced garlic two cans of refried beans two of these two and a half pounds of chicken breast tenderloins two packages of spanish rice three packages of tortillas, lots of quesadillas and fajitas and things are going to be going on. These blueberry bagels were two for three. I only found one package though on the markdown rack and then one package of sweet Hawaiian rolls. They were also two for three. Again, my living room is being recarpeted. My dining room is a mess. So I went ahead and got two bags of cereal. They were two for five dollars anyway right now. So I just grabbed those. The kids can eat cereal on the porch for breakfast and I don't have to worry about trying to make breakfast and where to feed them with everything going on. Some Hawaiian style marinade. I thought that would be awesome with some chicken. So we're going to try that. And then also just some signature steakhouse marinade for some of those steaks I picked up. A whole chicken, two packages of biscuits because it makes easy breakfast and a package of hash browns because Mika requested those and this chicken was 613 it was 99 cents a pound so that was pretty good 
two pounds of Colby Jack and a pound of Pepper Jack cheese, a billion packages of Kool-Aid. I only buy that when it's on sale and they were four for a dollar so we stocked up. And then here are the other four fajita seasonings. I knew there was more. There they are. And then over here we have some orange juice. I picked up three orange juices and two apple juices. I just thought those would be nice and convenient to have in the freezer and kind of out of sight and out of mind so the kids won't want to drink them all at once if they know I bought orange juice and apple juice and they have them in the fridge or in the pantry. Okay, now onto the meat pack. The total on this was 119. I think it was somewhere around 130 with tax. And this is everything we got in it. And here is a pretty Mika. Okay, so we have a 10 pound bag of chicken leg quarters, which I'm gonna divide into probably about four meals worth of chicken. And then we have one package of rice bacon. Like I said, he said they'd ran out of the one pound packages, so I got a pound and a half. Can't complain about that. Two packages of seasoned chicken thighs are just seasoned with barbecue rubs. So I can throw them on the smoker or bake them and do like oven barbecued chicken, something like that. 10 pounds of ground beef. He said they were actually closer to like a pound and a quarter per package. So that's a little bit more than 10 pounds actually, but 10 packages of ground beef. Okay, four pork steaks in each of these two packages and they were three quarters of an inch thick. And then these New York strips also have four per package and they were three quarters of an inch thick as well. Over here we have a package or two packages of beef patties. They have five in each one and they are a quarter pound. I think he said quarter pound. They're pretty thick though. They're beef patties. They're probably more than a quarter pound. And then our whole pork shoulder. And that was everything we got for, I believe it was 130 with the tax on it. Okay guys, so that's everything in my grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and stick around for more. And I'll be coming soon with a what's for dinner video where I'll share how we use some of this stuff. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.